All right, it's been a minute since I worked on the Scrambler. It's cold here in New Jersey and it's a cloudy day, so I felt like it was a good time to actually get in the garage and do something new. My dad gifted me from AJ Cycles. Analog motor goods, signal pods. The reason I got these particular units, and you can see actually how small they are, Two, two reasons. On the, on the front of the motorcycle, LED headlights or uh, turn signals for the Scrambler, they do stick out quite a bit. Um, I don't hate the sort of retro look. I see what Triumph was going for. I think it actually looks pretty good. But uh, the practicality of it, just right off the bat, is it if this were truly an off-road motorcycle, look how far off these signals are from the side of the bike, right? So if you did take a digger, if you ride in the sand and you're in a, in a deep sand section, right? This thing is, it sits pretty loose. Um, and frankly, there's a good chance of it breaking. I'll tell you now that, let me see which one it is. Yeah, it's this one here. I've actually, I don't know if you can see that in the light, but I've actually broken this one off. You can see how far off that pulls from the from the fitting. I have it just hammered on there to fit, but you can even see it's it's actually turned outward. Still works, right? And, and still signals fine. But uh, I wanted to clean this up and just give it a little bit more off-road practicality. Here's how you do this. It's pretty straightforward. First thing you need, if you've got the high fender, you gotta take that fender off so the headlight can fall all the way down. It does also ask you in these particular instructions to take the this bolt off here, taking the guard off, which I don't really want to do, but what it allows you to do is it takes the shroud off the back of this headlight. So this all pops up and you can see all the internal wirings and, and actually, frankly, you can disconnect the headlamp completely and then set it off to the side if you want to. Um, I've chosen not to do that, but only because I was able to pull um, just with a, a little bit of force, not too much force, but I was able to actually pull the signal wiring here in the back of the headlight shroud. So I have access to all of this stuff without pulling that shroud off. So I'm trying to do this as minimalistic as possible. Take these off and it's literally just this one bolt. In regards to wiring, the left signal here is a green and red wire. Right signal is a green and white wire. I don't know if you can see it. I mean, it's the green and red. The red stripe is a pen stripe. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, the lighting in here is awful. Green and red for the left. Green and white for the right. Black goes to black. White goes to green and red. These contact points are pretty different from, say, like a dirt bike, which have like a locking me mechanism. You can see they have a little bit of a of an edge to them to make them stick. I thought I needed a screwdriver or something to pop them out, and that wasn't the case. They just pulled right out of here. So I'm going to go ahead and install the left side blinker just so I don't get confused here. Um, white connects to the green wire. Black connects to the black wire. Fit your new blinker right here where the old blinker was here on the side. And uh, I think that's it's just as easy as that. Here, I'll pull this other one off so you can see actually how easy they come off. <laughs> I say that. Yeah, see, it just pops right out. All right, I'm going to get this other one wired up. Okay, install's pretty easy. Power up your bike. Uh, always a good idea to disconnect your uh, SAE connector before you power up your motorcycle, just so you're not drawing current from your, from your home. Um, so... Just, you don't have to run the bike, but just power it up. Make sure that your signals are all good. I want, I want you to see this, this is nuts. All right, left signal. Holy bright, I don't know. I'm not even showing you like directly into the thing. We're looking at it from a side angle. This is not direct into the light. It actually says in the instructions not to look directly into the light. So left signal, right signal, and then check your hazards to make sure they both flash. And they do. I think this is going to look really, really trick once it's done up. The uh, the wires are a little long, but you know you can manage that. Zip tie it once you get everything ready to button back up. Be sure that you you know you get this right. I don't know if I got this right on the first time, and the instructions don't tell you 
that this one must go left and this one must go right or vice versa. So um, I don't think it's, I don't, I don't think it matters. It does say here in a disclaimer that these are not DOT approved. So just keep that in mind. If you're riding in like a high regulation state, like, well, quite frankly, like I do, um, you know, you might have cops that are privy to turn signals and they care about that. Uh, these are for off-road use only. So keep that in mind. Anyway, really easy install. Um, I think it cleans up the bike. I'll show you the finished product in a little bit. I think it cleans up the bike on the front um, excellently. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like when everything's put together. Okay, quick update. The, the washer that it says to use with these little four millimeter bolts. I don't know if it's because the scramblers setup is just the thicker metal. Uh, but if you can see, I, I wasn't able to get it to bite into this, you know, into the actual signal pod without, like I had to use this bolt without the washer. So just keep that in mind if you're using this on a, on a scrambler 1200. I don't know if maybe the bracket here on the street scrambler is a little bit thinner. Um, anyway, it was just something that I was experimenting with and wanted to share. Got the high fender on but that's what she looks like with the signal pods nice and tight and close to the headlight rather than sticking out, you know, three or four inches outside the, outside the sort of spectrum of the motorcycle. So it looks a lot cleaner. Really cool product. Runs about $99 on AJ cycles. Uh, highly recommend it. This is a really cool addition to this motorcycle. If you like the retro styling, I can see why this wouldn't work out for you necessarily. But uh, for my application and riding this pretty aggressively off-road, um, this is a much better setup. So anyway, stay tuned.